Hello everyone! Today we're going to be talking about some of the rare and special animals you can get for your farm. Now, interestingly enough, none of these animals you can find in a barn. They either come from the coop, the slime hutch, and the trailer. But this one particular animal is not one we're going to deal with today. But really quick, before we get into this video, if you haven't seen, I'm doing a giveaway on my last video, $100 Steam card giveaway. All you've got to do is leave a comment. So go check out that video, leave a comment, you'll be entered to win, you've got nothing to lose. Now, the first step to procuring these amazing and exotic animals is building the buildings in which they live. So I've got to clear some space to make those. So this ancient fruit, it's going to go away for a little while. I already have the bombs. The best way to clear your field is lay a few bombs down. You need an empty space to do that. That's okay, we'll start right there. And we have lots of room suddenly. I'll just do a few of those, get rid of some ancient plants, and then we'll build our coop. And you know what? I'm pretty sure you cannot build on hoed soil, so that's a good point for anyone out there. If you're going to go build a building, make sure you have some room to build it. I'm going to use my tractor to clear it out because I can. But it's actually really annoying when you go all the way to Robin to build something and you realize you can't do it because your ground has been hoed. Alright, the dog approves. Let's go see Robin again and pay her one more time to build yet another building. I wonder if she's ever concerned by the fact that I continually hire to build buildings and then just blow them up right away. Now, as always, the first thing you want to build when dealing with animals is actually a silo. That way you can feed the animals and have a place to store your grass. Pretty simple and straightforward to build, you'll have that stuff in the early game. Then, once that is done, we can start with the coop. The coop is pretty straightforward, you'll probably also have this pretty early on in the game. 300 wood, 100 stone, 4000 gold. And we're going to go ahead and throw that right over here where it's close to my door. That way I don't have to run around any more than I already do. The big coop is just a little bigger again. 10,000 gold, 400 wood, 150 stones. This one comes with an incubator and unlocks ducks. The final upgrade, deluxe coop. Houses 12 coop dwelling animals, Linus not included. Comes with an auto feeding system, which is why I always build it. That way you don't have to do it yourself. Unlocks rabbits, 20,000 gold, 500 wood, 200 stone. But we still need one more building, and that is a slime hutch. This is the building I don't normally bother with because I still don't see the use. Maybe I'm not understanding something here. Maybe someone can enlighten me. As far as I'm concerned, the slime hutch is useless, but we're going to build it. Well, let's build this useless thing. We're going to throw it right here because it doesn't really matter. The slimes never leave. They're always inside. They don't need any room to play. So the first actual animal we're going to look at is the dinosaur. You get that once you find a dinosaur egg. The first actual animal we're going to talk about is the dinosaur, and it comes from a dinosaur egg. Now, dinosaur eggs can be found by digging up artifact spots in the mountain or by fishing. They come from treasure chests there too occasionally. And I actually haven't given one to Gunther on this file yet, despite being several hundreds of years in. Year 108 actually, I believe. So what we're going to do today is actually donate it. That way he can tell us a little bit about it. Now, once you find a second one after that, a giant dino egg. The entire shell is still intact. Simply place that in the incubator, which is that one, and several days later you'll be rewarded with a baby dinosaur. So let's go ahead and skip to that part. The amount of time for a little dinosaur to hatch varies. It is only 6 days if you have the coop master profession, but it is a full 12 days for the regular smart people who pick the other profession. Alright, today we're going to go check on our little dinosaur egg because I admittedly forgot what day I put it in there on. And I think it's ready to go being that we get a cutscene, a new baby lizard hatched. I always love the names they give you. Oh, I miss Licky. Usually the first name isn't good, so I skip it. Licky would have been a good one. You know what? I'm just going to go with Licky. There we are. Licky. This is what a dinosaur looks like. It likes to be pet. Licky seems curious, but a little cautious. It's a strange new world. And he'd better behave himself or I'm going to turn him into something delicious. Now, what Licky the Wonder Dinosaur produces is more dinosaur eggs. At which point you can sell them or put them back in the incubator to make more dinosaurs. We'll go ahead and let him out so we can have some freedom for the first time ever. And we'll take a look at what this is worth. I'm reading different sources on how long they take. One source says 3-5 to five days for a dinosaur egg, another says a week. A single dinosaur egg, regular quality, 350 gold. And it's much more exciting than a regular dumb chicken. 5 days later, no egg, so let's go with the dinosaur will give you a dinosaur egg once a week. 350 gold per week. Also, there is an exploit where as you use this wallpaper, which is wallpaper number 108, it will act like a dinosaur egg. So if you go to put it in the incubator, you get the same result. Wallpaper in, dinosaur comes out. So if you're having trouble getting the dinosaur, the dinosaur egg, any of that, just throw in that purple wallpaper with white dots, number 108, and you'll get a dinosaur. Next, 
We're going to look at one that is a fan favorite. People love these. And these, of course, are the blue chickens. Yes, you heard that right. Blue chickens. Now, how you get these is you have to make friends with Shane, which isn't really that great because, as you can see by my social list, that if you find Shane somewhere down the list, he is one of the few people at zero hearts, along with my half tractor, apparently. Now, once you make friends with Shane and get him past his eight heart event, yes, you have to watch the eight heart event. Ah, here goes the idiot now. Would you like a dinosaur egg? Why are you giving me your garbage? That's a living, breathing creature, I'll have you know. And it's delicious once it grows up. There is now a 25% chance that once you buy a chicken from Marnie, it will be blue. And these are the rest of the boring animals. This is all you get with a coop. Chickens from the small coop, ducks from the medium sized coop, and rabbits from the big one. Rabbits cost 8,000 gold. Anyways, chickens are what we're after. Simply pick the coop, put it in, and hopefully it's a blue one. Shaco, that sounds like a blue chicken name. So what I'm going to do right now is just buy 12 chickens, the most I can buy, and at least one of those should be blue, and then I will remove the rest. 12 chickens later, the little coop is full, and I'm feeling lucky, so we'll see how many of those little guys are blue. I guess we really only could buy 11, being we already had the stupid dinosaur in there, plus the thing in the incubator, so I probably only bought 10 chickens. That still should be enough. There is one little blue one right there. Only one though. Since these are all still a bunch of babies, we'll let them grow up so we can see them in the big form and I will show you what they produce. I have no idea how long chickens take to grow up so I'm just going to guesstimate a week and that's as good as I'm going to give you. There we go. One week later, the chickens are already there and they're already laying eggs. This blue one is the one in question. Now what the blue one does is nothing. It's just blue. It lays the same eggs as everything else. It's just blue. Like I said, once you pass the 8 heart event with Shane, there's a 1 in 4 chance, 25%, that when you buy a chicken, it will be blue. Unfortunately, I wasn't very lucky and only got one, but I still got one. And like I said, they just produce regular eggs, brown and white. Brown ones are worth more than white and they can produce large eggs if they're particularly happy. Mine won't be because I'm not particularly nice to them. Eggs as well, not super valuable. As you remember back to the dinosaur egg, it's worth 350 by itself, whereas all their eggs together, 550. They will get more valuable as time goes on, but so will the dinosaur egg. Dinosaurs are better. Now, there is still one more type of chicken we can look at, one that we haven't seen yet. But what I need to do is clear some space, so this one is now chicken meat. And you know what? I see that incubator still going up there with something else. So we gotta make room for one more, more chicken meat. And because I'm impatient, I've just gone ahead and made another incubator. Chicken, get out of the way. So I can start the next project right now. Incubator there. And the next chicken I'm talking about, of course, is the void chicken, which comes from a void egg. A jet black egg with red flecks. It's warm to the touch. So naturally, we throw that in the incubator and six days later, we'll get a void chicken. If you want a void egg, every once in a while, the witch will show up overnight and cast a spell on your coop, leaving you a void egg, at which point you just throw it in the incubator like I have done. And occasionally, the traveling merchant will sell you one. Not today, though. She's there every Friday and Sunday, should you want to check. And the town's little drug dealer in her sewers, Crowbase, will sell you one for 5,000 gold. Whether or not that's worth it is up to you. I'd say it's not, because 5,000 gold, you're not going to make your money back very quickly. You can get it for free as long as the witch stops by, so if you have a coop early in the game, just do what you normally do, and eventually, or after a year or two, you'll get your void egg from the witch. Now, this is what an itty bitty small void chicken looks like. Looks kind of evil, red eyes. We'll come back in a few days, so it's grown up. There we are, my coop is already getting full of useless eggs, and in the bottom right is the black chicken, the void chicken. I will make my way over to it very slowly because this idiot is in the way. Give it a little pet. Chabelle looks really happy today. Well, that's a first for my animals. Now, what they produce you obviously is a void egg. So just like the dinosaur egg, you can sell it or put it in the incubator to make more void chickens. But that's actually not the only thing you can do with a void egg. You can also turn it into void mayonnaise, the same way you can turn a regular egg into mayonnaise. As it turns out, you can also put dinosaur eggs into the mayonnaise maker. I didn't know that. That just makes a regular mayonnaise, but if you want to waste a dinosaur egg, that's a good way to do it. Mayonnaise machines, by the way, are made from 15 wood, 15 stone, 1 earth crystal, 1 copper bar, which is actually pretty reasonable considering you'll get more money for those eggs, which aren't hugely valuable by themselves. The mayonnaise machine, by the way, probably is something you want to invest in because the void mayonnaise is something you want for one of the endgame quests. A thick black paste that smells like burnt hair and Pam's favorite body lotion. So what we're going to do today is sell one of every product from there and compare the values of everything. 
I sold two mayonnaise in there because I forgot about the dinosaur egg mayonnaise, which is just regular, but you'll get the idea from the comparison right now. Now, the dinosaur egg by itself, 350 gold, quite valuable. Looking at everything else, the void egg is 65 gold, worth slightly more than a regular egg at 50. The mayonnaise, uh, 266, the void mayonnaise, 385. So the void everything is worth more. So if you can have a coop and don't really care about regular eggs, change everything to void eggs, void chickens, void mayonnaise, etc. Unless you want dinosaurs. I'd go with dinosaurs because they're more fun. But like I said, as we move into year 110, you're going to need void mayonnaise for the endgame quest. Yay, here we are in a new year, so my fuel is full of crap once again. Anyways, the only thing we have left, of course, is a slime hutch. So, what do you do with a slime hutch? Well, you collect slimes of all shapes, sizes, and colors. Mostly just a color variation, though. The slime hutch is great because when you go in, they all try and kill you. And what they produce you is more slimes. What's the point, you ask? I have no idea. Now, as I was saying, the slimes, what they produce you is slime. What you do with the slime, once you get a hundred of them, you put them in a slime press and it will produce you a slime ball of a random color. For example, a purple slime ball, which is a rarest color, which point you put it in the slime incubator and you get a purple slime and then you repeat the process. Again, I'm not really sure what the point is because you just go in circles of producing more slimes. Now, the purple is the rarest. Unfortunately too, there's no auto feeder for this, so you've got to come and fill their water dishes up every day, which obviously can be pretty dangerous. So what a lot of people do is make a fence right from the entryway over to the water dish. That way you can water them every day. The slimes can't get to you and they still count as watered every day. Alternatively, you can use the slime charmer ring, which prevents damage from slimes. I'm invincible and immortal anyway, so I don't care, but that's another option for you. But my recommendation, don't even bother with the slimes, they're useless. As for the rare animal of the slimes, it's the black slime. Now, the rare animal for the slimes is the black slime, and guess what? It's also useless. What it does? Nothing. Just like the rest of them. How you get it is every once in a while, that witch will show up at night, curse your slime hutch, turn every one of them into a black slime, just because. So, all those colorful slimes you've been working towards turn black anyway. I don't know the point. One way to prevent this from happening is putting a wicked statue inside the slime hutch. That will stop the witch from ever showing up and doing that. Again, my recommendation is just don't do the slime hutch. Can the slimes be butchered? Let's find out. It does not appear so. So, yep, they are pretty much completely useless. This is the first time I've had a slime hutch that I actually used in many years, and I'm soon going to blow it up and forget all about it. But speaking of butchering, do we get blue meat from a blue chicken? Does not appear so. Do we get black meat from a black chicken? Does not appear so. What do we get from a dinosaur? Uh, nothing. You cannot butcher the dinosaur, so that's something to consider. For those of you that want to use the butcher mod, uh, dinosaurs do nothing. But we'll go ahead and do the rest of these chickens just because I enjoy it so much. And then we can see the value of chicken meat in comparison to their eggs. I'll sell a single chicken meat as compared to a single chicken egg and see if they're more worth it to slaughter them or raise them for eggs. Of course, the eggs are more valuable long term because you continually get value for them over time. Whereas once you slaughter them, no more chicken, which is actually my more favorable option because then you don't have to take care of them. So one chicken egg versus one chicken meat. I think the egg is probably actually going to be worth more at this point because those chickens aren't very old or very happy. And a happy chicken is a valuable chicken. So the breakdown. Okay, there is actually a pretty big discrepancy. 50 gold for the egg and 250 for the chicken, but after five eggs laid, it's worth it. Well, that's it for the rare animals you can get on your farm that you can actually control. Aside from that, there is an owl you will sometimes see fly across your screen in the evening times. And on a rare occasion, you will see a sea monster swimming beside the dock here. You cannot interact or do anything with it, he just swims by. Again, if you haven't seen the giveaway I'm doing on my last video, go ahead and check that out. $100 Steam giveaway. All you gotta do is leave a comment. That's it. What do you got to lose? Go ahead and do that now. If you haven't seen my channel before, go check it out. Hundreds of videos just like this in there. New videos out every day. Um, other than that, hope you liked it. Thanks for watching.